manifestations of poor customer service. Let's take an example of an international courier company. Delivery services, global brand, well respected. They are delivering a book that I published with Palgrave in the UK or IAP in the USA. And they get to my university office eight minutes late. It's not a life and death issue. I'll still collect the book, sign for it, and say thank you. Let's take this same international courier company delivering a critical medicine to a patient in Botswana, for instance. Critical vaccine, very critical. This patient is tethering between life and death. Let's say the medicine is delivered five hours late. And as a result, the patient dies. Now, notice what's happening here. Same courier company, book delivery, not life and death. Same courier company, lateness in delivering a critical medicine, somebody dies. So you see, poor customer service delivery can literally be the difference between life and death in some circumstances. So please, take this very, very seriously. That you need to reconfigure your customer service delivery routines to ensure that you deliver consistent service all the time. Because inconsistent service can lead to very disastrous outcomes for all your customers. The second manifestation of poor customer service is poor attention to detail. It amazes me across Africa how many customer service representatives, sales personnel, marketing representatives say things like, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. How doesn't it matter? I'm paying $200,000 for the house. I gave you clear specifications regarding what I want. The master bedroom is now a similar size to my daughter's bedroom. How doesn't it matter? So, but they are all en suite. They all have a toilet and bath inside. No, no, no. I did it. Hey, sir, I gave you this. We agreed. What you've done is wrong. But, but it's close to... No, no, please. Listen. Poor attention to detail. In some cases, again, might not be anything. In other cases, it's totally inexcusable. So please, let's move beyond this poor attention to detail and do the right thing. The third manifestation of poor customer service, when we have inexperienced customer service representatives. You have a problem, you go to them, they say they'll get back. They don't get back because they are actually confused about who to even consult to deal with the situation you brought to their attention. Totally clueless. They are ill-trained, they are not empowered, they are ill-motivated. And a problem that is similar to this one are all those who play what we call boundary-spanning roles. They span the boundary of the service circumference, so they're the first point of interaction between the external environment and us. All these security guards, customer service reps, front desk executives, sometimes they're totally clueless. And they are very, they are the least paid, so they are ill-motivated as well. So please, the third manifestation is, is, are these ill-motivated, ill-trained, ill-prepared type of customer service representatives. Please, either you get rid of them or train them rapidly to ensure that since they are the first point of interface, they are supremely equipped to make sure that they always deliver in the moment of truth. Moments of truth are 10 to 15 second opportunities to make a first time Positive and lasting impression in AD service encounter. So with ill-prepared and inexperienced customer service representatives who keep failing in the moment of truth. And two things happen in the moment of truth. You either create a moment of magic or a moment of misery. Poor customer service leads to moments of misery and excellent customer service leads to moments of magic. So whatever you do, create moments of magic and you find your profitability soaring as your customer service improves. Thank you for listening, and we'll connect again very soon. Thank you.